Hello, I'm Joyce Mixwan, Gold Coast Primary Health Network, Persistent Pain Program Clinical Director and uh, Managing Director of PainWise in the Gold Coast, Australia. Hi, and I'm Dr. Jeff Gooden, Professor of Anesthesiology and Pain Medicine at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine in Florida, USA. And on behalf of our co-authors, we're going to introduce you to our article titled, Self-Healing, a Concept for Musculoskeletal Body Pain Management, Scientific Evidence and Mode of Action. Acute or recurring musculoskeletal pain is a multidimensional experience, and the management of such pain can be truly challenging. It includes localized pain such as low back, knee, shoulder, neck pain, and even more widespread pain such as fibromyalgia. Acute or recurring musculoskeletal pain influences a patient's quality of life and can impair their autonomy, decrease their independence, and certainly decrease their functional capacity. You know, two out of every eight people worldwide suffer with musculoskeletal conditions. Of course, prevalence rates vary. Muscle tissues can become damaged in many ways, and stress triggers for acute or recurring musculoskeletal pain are diverse. Stress triggers potentially amplify pain through physical and psychological processes. So when a stress trigger occurs, body homeostasis is or is perceived to be threatened. Self-healing in the context of acute and recurring musculoskeletal pain is the innate ability of the body and mind to promote mechanisms to return to equilibrium in order to help to relieve pain induced by various triggers. Five body networks are thought integral to the self-healing process. The nervous system can promote restoration and healing of the body through the relaxation response. Psychology plays an important role within the self-healing process. Decreasing mental stress can help reduce muscle activity and thus pain. An increase in microcirculation may promote healing and reduce pain. Modulation of the immune system through acute inflammation plays a critical role in the regeneration of muscle. And muscular relaxation and contraction play a role in self-healing, for example, through increased supply of oxygen and nutrients with relaxation of muscle. Self-healing can be optimized by the use of integrative medical strategies, incorporating conventional and alternative therapies. Now, alternative and complementary treatments are becoming more and more widely used and integrated into treatment guidelines around the world. And evidence from cl clinical trials showing their efficacy is indeed increasing. Integrative medicine incorporates complementary and alternative therapies. A reduced reliance on conventional therapies can reduce associated side effects and complementary and alternative therapies encompass psychosocial health, as well as natural therapies, nutrition, devices, exercise, and mobility. And finally, to recap, stress triggers and potentially amplifies pain through both physical and psychological processes. The body has an innate ability to self-heal. Multiple body networks are thought integral to the self-healing process. Integrated medicine optimizes the self-healing process. Thank you for joining us today. To learn more on the self-healing concept, you can click on the link to view our open access article on the journal website. Thank you.